what y'all give me for it now.
when you just spent, I don't know what, you had to rinse everything before you put it in there. So, you're gonna wash it twice. I mean, I'm just asking, because that sounds silly to me. Mostly because it is silly. You know, when I just do it once, just go ahead and put a little soap in the rinse water. And then be done with it. I mean, uh, if you got a if you got an automatic dishwasher at your house, don't don't uh, go to a save the planet and conserve water or whatever convention and carry his side says you got to save the planet because because you ain't. But. There's a lot of stuff that gets thrown away that that shouldn't be getting thrown away yet. And I don't really, I mean, I just can't wrap my head around it. Um, when I go in the convenience store. I actually feel guilty when I grab one of them uh, little cheapy styrofoam cup for a cup of coffee. And it's cheaper for carrying my own cup in there. And they don't care. They don't care if it's, you know, one of their cups. Well, actually, the company, I guess, would prefer you to buy there. They make a couple of things off of it. But things like, you know, paper, paper cups, and styrofoam cups, and plastic cups. And, do you have any idea what the carbon footprint on a 24 pack of uh, solo cups is? Don't do you? Don't want to know, do you? The, uh, what's the carbon footprint of your closet? I mean, if you went in there and looked at all the clothes and shoes and, uh, belts and hats and handbags and ties. stuff that was in your closet. How much of that has a giant carbon footprint? We grow cotton around this part of the world. For miles and miles either direction. That cotton's not turned into textiles here. Spend massive amounts of diesel getting the cotton out of the ground or in the field. Then spend massive amounts of diesel getting it out of the field. Spend massive amounts of electricity processing it into bales. Then we spend massive amounts of diesel again. transporting it from point A to point B and then it is put the majority is put onto a slow boat and that uh, slow boat goes to China don't make you see it <coughs> and then it's turned into textiles and then it's shipped to other countries and then it's turned into clothing. Now some of our cotton started going to Mexico with textile plants and stuff like that. When we pick that kind of stuff all to pieces. It, it doesn't change the fact that chances are that pair of jeans or whatever you're paying 300 bucks for which is nuts. has been all over the world 
before it ever got to be a big pair of jeans. And it's got a carbon footprint. I'll buy a pair of jeans and I wear them until they fall apart. I'll buy two pair of new jeans a year. Maybe. If I don't find decent ones at a resale shop. Last year I bought one pair of jeans. <coughs> got those on. I don't want to buy me any pair of jeans. No. We waste too much. We waste too much. That's it. I mean, think about it. You don't really need all that stuff, people. You can wash your own cup. You don't have to buy a pair of jeans that's already wore out. Where am I to sit?